Good morning, Year 5, and welcome to your Tuesday English lesson. Again, you need a pen and some paper, and I'm going to share the screen. So our LO is to identify rhetorical questions, and our starter, as always, if you would like to do the one chili, could you write me three sentences about this photograph? They need to include lots of nice descriptive words and language, some adjectives, and if you do two or three chilies, can you write me five sentences about this photo? You could use expanded noun phrases, relative clauses, whatever features you would like with lots of descriptive language. So you've had some time to have a look at those. Um, I won't show all of my examples, but please do send them in to me and Miss Fink. We'd love to have a little look. And hopefully you've used lots of description in that um, in that starter. So we are going to learn about rhetorical questions today. We have had a look at rhetorical questions before. But this is just a refresher as it's one of our main features in our persuasive speech. So a rhetorical question is a question which does not need an answer. They're used to make or emphasize a point. Rhetorical questions are often used in advertisements to persuade people. They're used at the beginning of an advertisement to draw in the reader. They're used at the end of a piece to conclude it. So they're usually used at the start and the beginning of a piece of persuasive text. You will often see rhetorical questions begin with, do you really? Are you? Why not? Who can deny? Who doesn't? Love? Look at my example. Do you really want the planet to shrivel up? See how it's asking the audience whether they actually want that to happen, which we know the answer is clearly no, we don't want our planet to shrivel up, but it makes us think about what we can do to help. So look at these statements. Visit the most vile hotel in the world. That doesn't really persuade us to go to that hotel. Remember, vile means horrible, disgusting. But when it's asked in this question, who doesn't want to visit the most vile hotel in the world? It makes us think, Maybe we do want to visit there because if everyone wants to visit, like who doesn't want to, that's saying that um, there can't be anyone who doesn't want to visit there. You kind of want to go yourself. And this statement, you'll have the holiday of a lifetime. Do you fancy the holiday of a lifetime? That makes you think, oh yeah, actually I do. It's, it's questioning you. It makes you think about it. So let's have a go. Showers in our cold slime, shower in our cold slimy showers. Now that doesn't really make me want to go and shower in my cold slimy showers. So let's see how we can turn it into a rhetorical question. Love showering in cold slimy showers. So that makes us question, do we love showering in cold sh slimy showers? And then after that, I'm sure they would try and persuade us to join. If you are um, doing one chili, could you have a go at um, coming up with three rhetorical questions to persuade me not to litter? Now, littering is when you throw rubbish on the floor and you destroy our planet. So what I would like you to do is create a table with three headings. So I would get my ruler and I would draw myself three columns and then a line across. And I'll move this out of the way so that we're not all in the way. So my example, do you really want to destroy the planet? So that's a do you really starter. So I'm going to pop that into my do you really column. Just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Do you really want to destroy the planet? Then I can have a think of my next one. Are you? So I could think, are you helping in the fight against litter? Are you um, littering on the floor all the time? Are you responsible for your own litter? So you can put something in there. And then why not? So we could have, why not pick up rubbish next time? Why not try harder to um, pick up rubbish that you see on the floor? So you can choose some rhetorical questions. What I'd like you to think about is the audience. Who are you talking to? What do you want them to feel? If you just say, are you ready to pick up litter? That doesn't, it kind of, it is a rhetorical question. It's a, it's a good rhetorical question, but it doesn't really make me want to feed it. You could have, are you doing anything to help? That's accusing them of not doing anything. So that's a really good way of having that question. If you're doing two or three chilies, can you draw the table like the one chilies are doing with these three headings? Exactly the same sentence starters. However, what I'd like you to do is come up with six rhetorical questions. So two underneath each heading. 
to stop me from littering. Again, littering is when you drop things on the floor and you litter and pollute our planet. So my example is, do you really want to destroy the planet? And then I would need another example underneath, starting with, do you really? And then my other two headings need two questions underneath as well. If you're stuck on rhetorical questions, there's loads of resources on bite size, and you can have a look at my rhetorical questions in the model text to help Magpie, or have a look back through the PowerPoint to see what you might want to ask the audience and how you would make it emotive. Remember, you can use lots of descriptive language. You could say, do you really want to destroy um, our beautiful green planet or our um, wonderful spherical planet that has a motive language that's up leveling so think once you've written it how can you improve it or edit it i hope you have fun making your own rhetorical questions again me and miss link would love to see them so please send them into the year five email as the team's chat will be shutting soon so please can you just send them to the year five email and we would love to have a look at your rhetorical questions remember we're going to be using these in our writing in a couple of weeks for our speeches so it's really important you understand why we've got rhetorical questions and who our audience is see you soon